green flag here at uh, his barrel 150, 51 laps here. So we try to get around these guys. I'm still thinking that we're gonna have problems with fuel. But I think I can save depending on how slow I can get through the pack. Uh, well, how fast I can get through the pack being slow compared to like my qualifying, or not my qualifying, my practice times. Also, after this race, we're gonna start qualifying for every race, just like we did in the beginning of the season where we qualified for the first couple races, and now we're gonna qualify for the last couple. Because we're in race 42. Martinsville is race 43 at the Old Dominion 500. Because we're at 34th on lap 3, 49 to go. Get around Tom there. Up to 9th as we slowly make progress in these first 17 laps. Try to make a pass on Errol Ross, the 52 car. We got Neil Castle's window as we get a little too close to the infield there. Because we're trying to save, but also be fast at the same time. Trying to find any way, anywhere we can uh, pass anybody or gain time. Battle for fifth, get around past school there. So he gets a little push high there, and now we go on to Bobby Allison, Dave Pearson for fourth, third, fourth and third, and then Hutchinson, I believe, is second, and Petty up third, first. Also, Bud Moore is also in this race, so that'd be four races that he would have started. So at least it's not just one, like some of, our, some, some of the seasons that we've been through where the cars will really be in the one race and just never show up ever again. Hoping this video will be short too. So get Ron Pearson here. Get 20, 30 to go. Coming up on 9 to go as Paige just passed the line. I'm very close to him, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to save fuel and also be able to get to him. So get past, I believe, Charlie Blotts back. The 37 car. Rim Stock and Spikes, Mario Andretti, and Bill Champion are, is what set, uh, separates me and Penny. We try to get by these guys at the same time, trying to get back up to uh, Penny. Hopefully, win this race if uh, if can. Two to go left as you just heard. I am so close to Petty, but I don't know if it's going to be a, enough here. Not a 3 and 4. I just don't think it's going to be enough. We're going to just have to ride outside. And this is my last ditch effort here. Nope. Got a little two over the uh, cushion, but Petty wins. I got second there. Now for the first you know, race that I qualified for the la or the last couple of races, so it'll be race 43, 44, 45, 46, and 47. I will qualify, and I am first with 90 laps. And I can probably this will probably will be a kind of a walk off, honestly. I don't think I'm gonna be having that much. Competition. I think my car is just that fast compared to them, especially on race room. They might have been better than me in qualifying by a by, by not much. Cause obviously I took the pole, but I think I'm, I'll be better on better compared to them under uh, the race conditions here. Especially when it's cloudy, I have more grip and it's faster. to get lap three. Twenty laps in, twenty one laps in, get by Mario to lap him. We've lapped the whole field and now we're sideways. Now this feels like a 
Feels like the first time we were here in the 62 season. Oh, and of course, I should have known. I should have known I was going to do that. But I have plenty of time because everyone, the cars that have passed me, they get their lap back as soon as they get around again. But I think I'm going to be fine. Ooh, not again! Come on now! Yeah, this is definitely feeling like 62 Warrensville right now. And just a little wall tap there. I'm a green as we pitted to get tires and uh, fuel. I did get a penalty because I, I forgot that I was not on the back stretch of the pits instead of I was on the front stretch. And we already got a caution. I don't know what that's for, but that's really annoying. That doesn't keep that me. It was enjoying getting turned by Bill Champion and almost getting hit onto the pit road wall there. Coming back green, now we're on the outside because we don't have a penalty in fourth. Now Wendell Hutchinson pass for the pass. Petty is out with a header problem. As we get down to the inside, we're 57 laps to go. Throw it in on the inside here. Now Buck Baker, McQuag could do that on. Now McQuag kind of gets it to us going to three. Now we kind of get sideways there. Do a fool to go around, but we got close there. Wall now after uh, being clipped by Buck there. Jesus. We're on Pascal's back bumper here, coming up to 53 to go. We're gonna throw it up to the inside in three and four. Hopefully get around him here, as we do off of four. 53 to go, and we're in first place. We need another lap there. And we're gonna lap Bobby Allison. While at it. I'm going to lap the fuel again. Um, after spinning earlier, to lose that lap from the fuel. A pass goal there. We lap the fuel now. And now Bobby Allison gets turned by Hutchison. There's a caution for that. As we go on the three. As there you go, Allison gets turned by Hutchison, gets hit by McQuag, the old 317, home goal. Coming back green with 19 to go. As everyone's lapped down, I go in what is my invisible research zone. Okay, 18 laps to go, coming down to turn one, clip the curb a little bit. Not what you want to do in real life, nor in a game, because sometimes they will just sit to you around. Luckily, I haven't experienced that yet. I've already experienced spinning out, but not getting spun out by the crew. 17 to go. Coming up on the white flag. As you come down the back straightaway, lapping the back of the pack after I restart some 20 laps ago. And we're gonna get the white flag. For the old Dominion 500 here at Martinsville. We're gonna go from second at Hillsboro to what is looking like first here at Martinsville as we go down the back stretch and actually looking, or actually hitting the old 3 car there. Luckily, I didn't have any major contact or implications. Almost had it happen there trying to push him across the line. But we do win the old Dominion 500. So now we have 16 wins, 10 DNFs, Penny has 5 wins, 9 DNFs, Pascal has 3 with 2 DNFs, Scott with 4 with 3 DNFs, Allison with 3 with 5 DNFs. So that'll be it for this video. I think we're going to be able to get the championship wrapped up by the next couple races. And that'll be it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.